Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our next installment of Getting to Know Jersey Sound. Today, I am have the distinct honor of interviewing Ms. Debbie Warshower and Ms. Julie Sinkoff, who are one of our awesome mother-daughter teams in the chorus. I'm so happy you guys are here uh, talking with me today. Happy to be here. <laughs> so first things first, uh, I'm curious about your musical background before the chorus. Uh, Julie, you wanna answer that first? Sure. So um, I sang in, in high school and a little bit in college and um, I did um, singing groups, I did some theater, um, and that was, that was really it before um, finding Jersey Sound. Cool. How about you, Debbie? Um, well, I play classical piano. Um, I did not have singing experience until Julie got to high school. And through the, um, through the different uh, music groups, uh, the, the music director there started a parent chorus. And um, I joined that. So it was the first time I ever sang in a group. Um, cool. We sang at the spring show, I, one or two songs. And it was, it was fun. And then... Um, from West Side Story. Yeah, we sang from West Side Story. We okay, sang, yes. I don't even, it was like no harmony. It, it was just a parent choir. <laughs> and um, then when I joined a synagogue, um, uh, one synagogue for 11 years and one synagogue for six years, um, I sang in the, um, in the synagogue choir, total of 17 years. We did not have to memorize anything. We had a music book and everything we sang was in Hebrew. Um, the most of the time we didn't really know what we were singing. We just sang the words. Well, and just a fun fact that I love is that Debbie and I have actually sung for um, a mutual chorus director in two completely different realms. Uh, I had Dr. Ju Julia Zavatsky in college and Debbie sang for her. For 11 years, yeah. and she's still a dear friend. Yeah, she's pretty cool. It's it's amazing how we we find all these little threads between us when we all come together at chorus to sing every Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, so, who joined Jersey Sound first, and why? Oh, well, that would be me. Um, I joined Jersey Sound uh, in the fall of 2014. Um, I visited that summer. I found the group on Meetup. And I think that was when um, Pitch Perfect movies were really big and I wanted to sing in, in an acapella group. And I assumed that all acapella choirs were gonna be just like the, just like the Barton Bellas. So um, I went and I visited and uh, I immediately loved it. Another fun fact, my very first night there, uh, there was, uh, two visiting choruses, uh, a men's chorus and a women's chorus, uh, both out from Pennsylvania, and they got to sing a little bit with Jersey Sound, and there was a quartet performance in which Mandy was singing. Um, so there was just a lot going on on my very first visit, and in that moment, I was like, well, this is something that I'd like to be doing. So I auditioned, and I've been been here for about six years now. We always say that to our people who visit for the first time, there's so much going on every week, but it's okay. You'll, you'll, you'll catch up. You'll, you'll become one of us soon enough. Uh, yeah. Deb, do you remember anything about like when you first started visiting and when you joined the chorus? Well, when, when Julie joined and uh, started having different performances, the annual show and performances, you know, in different places, I would bring my dad who was living at the time and uh, we would just watch with so much, you know, so much pride and love. And my dad was, was just, he would giggle and, and just watch her and say, that's my Julie. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had um, the Jersey girls, Julie set it up that the Jersey girls came for uh, singing Valentine's one year. And um, I just, I just really enjoyed listening to what you guys were doing, and so um, 
in the winter of, or in the fall of 2016, I became a Jingle Bell and I loved it. And um, I auditioned starting in January of 17 and became a member in February of 17. Yay, and we're so glad to have both of you. I only, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I only joined a little bit before Julie, maybe about a year before Julie, but uh, you guys have been, we've, we've all been so close. And I'm just, I'm so glad that you, that we all found each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yay. Now, um, next up we've got, um, oh, okay. Well, we already talked about, sorry, I'm reading off a list. Please forgive me. Um, how Debbie then learned about the chorus and knew that she wanted to join. So, oh, this one's my favorite, I think. So I'm going to start with Debbie on this. Debbie, can you tell me about a chorus of accomplishment that, uh, for Julie, that you just, fills you up with pride? Um, the first time I heard Julie in a quartet, um, which I, which was with chutzpah, I, I just felt such pride and such love and, and just saw my daughter in such a different way than I had ever seen her. And now with Up and Away and just, just incredible, just incredible. I still cry every time they say can't stand in Central Park, but it's just filled with such love and pride. So that's, that's my, that's my moment with her. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's just so great. How about you, Julie? Tell me, like, I'm sure this is fun that you get to, to sing with your mom and like see her in a different way too. Yeah. So I think for my mom, I think it's been really exciting to see her make her own way in the chorus. I mean, we're all friendly with everyone, but uh, we have our own um, sets of friends and she's gotten involved in her own way, which has been really exciting. Um, the, our little running joke in the chorus is that uh, I'm Debbie's daughter and she's Julie's mom. And uh, we have little buttons that match. Uh, Patty made us buttons. Patty made us buttons. So I think one of the nice things is to see her getting involved and, and doing her own thing and not necessarily being associated with one another, but doing our own thing and accomplishing our own things. And um, last summer we had a, um, just a fun a quartet ice cream social. And we, we got to perform. I know Mandy and I were in a quartet together. We were the Spice Girls and that was a lot of fun. And uh, my mom had been in a quartet and that was her first time being in a quartet. And not only did she sing her own part, she sang baritone, which is, uh, it's the part that I sing. And it's, it's extremely difficult if you're not of baritone brain. And um, to learn something that's so far outside of what, um, of what you're used to learning and, and how you learn music, I think it was a really big accomplishment of hers that she did that and got up there in front of the chorus and, and they sang and it was great. So I'm proud of that. Yeah. Yeah, it was so awesome to watch. <laughs> that was, that was for me the hardest bravest thing that I ever in my life did. Not, not just singing baritone, but just singing with three other people and not singing my part. Um, but I do, have to, I do have to thank my quartet members, Donna, Suzanne, and especially Barb Urban, who just spent so much time with me and um, Got, got me out there to do it. It was, it was fun. I don't have much recollection of it, but it was fun. <laughs> and I actually have, we actually have a quartet set up for next summer and I'm going to try bass. <laughs> I See, look at you. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That, I, I like that you said that you were brave because it was, because it's super brave to get up. We, we all know <laughs> it's, it is not easy, but it's so much fun. So fun. Oh, so since we just talked about, you know, a fun chorus project kind of a thing that we did uh, last summer, do you guys have any favorite projects or memories that you've done like together for the chorus? Um, well, we actually both sit on the incentive team together. Um, so 
what our incentive team does is it helps create programs for the members to keep them uh, motivated and engaged with our music and our skills, um, especially during this time when we're all at home and we have to rely on our individual uh, individual motivation to get to do things. So being on that committee, um, sharing ideas and um, finding ways, uh, I know that my mom is always uh, really helpful. She's like, what do you need for this? I'll go get it. And it's like, I'll go buy it. Or it's like, I already purchased this and I didn't even ask. Um, <laughs> it, it, she's always right there uh, to be available to help. And um, it's really helpful on a committee like that when we need lots of input and we need a lot of help. And, and even though, I mean, that's probably the only committee that we sit on together since I've been a member, the three years that I've been a member, Julie has always been there for me. Um, I'm so fortunate to have somebody to call when I have questions or how do we do this? How do we do that? Because she's just always been so available to me. And it's just, again, so nice to see, to have a relationship with my daughter, not just only as mother and daughter, but as fellow members of, of this course. Yeah, that's... That's so amazing. And it just sounds so enriching to, you know, how you came into this already bonded together. So that's... And it's brought us so much closer. Oh, that makes... <laughs> that's so no sweet. Crying. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. There's no crying in barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not crying. <laughs> oh, and that was actually just a great segue. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll we'll just wrap this up with how has being part of this course enhanced your relationship? I think Debbie just touched on it a little bit. So I, I think it's been, it's been cool because it's something that we can share. Uh, we, we talk about chorus all the time and, um, you know, uh, things that are going on and, and trying to share some insight that um, if she has questions, I can be like, just yes or no, or, you know, don't worry about this. Um, just to be able to, to kind of talk about these things, but also know that, that like that's between us and, and that we, we have that. Um, it's been really nice to uh, be at performances because we'll have family there that are there for both of us which is nice and friends that are there for both of us um it was really exciting especially during uh, my mom's first contest uh to to earn a medal and to to see that because i know that she works really really hard to medal. be two medals <laughs> yes um <laughs> to to learn her music quickly and efficiently so that uh she can focus um she does really well and it's it's good to see that um, other people in the chorus recognize that as well. And and I would just like to add, even though it may not totally have to do with Julie, um, for me, Jersey Sound has been life-changing. I didn't think that something could change my life like this after the age of 60, but but it has. And, and I have several new daughters. <laughs> <laughs> It's several new daughters and I have 60 sisters that I never thought I would have. I've become so brave um, and responsible. I mean, you're responsible for doing your work and, and I've just never had an experience like this. But when we sing together, it's just nothing like it. Nothing like it in the world. Yeah, I, I can't add anything to that. You. Yeah. That's the best around. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> well, I am so, again, so thankful for both of you being in this chorus and being great friends of mine. Uh, like Debbie said, she has adopted daughters now. Um, I call her Ma at rehearsal all the time. Um, I, I call also her call her Mom at rehearsal. Oh, well, no, you call her Mom. I call her Ma. Oh, well, no, you no, call I call her Ma. Her ma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all going crazy here. Um, <laughs> But again, thank you guys so much for uh, joining me and sitting down and talking about all of this stuff. Um, you know, it's so great that we can share this with the world. And uh, well, I'm sure we will have more installments of interviews with or getting to know Jersey Sound. 
So thanks to all for tuning in and we will see you next time. Thanks.